Hello and welcome to my video. In this video, I want to explain about how to create virtual serial device. And maybe you will ask that, what is virtual serial device? Basically, virtual serial device is that I want to simulate the real serial device. In Linux, you can find the serial device in the dev directory. <coughs> Maybe if you connect the serial device in your computer, it will show the string of the data in the TTYS0 like, like this. But <coughs> in my computer, I don't connect any device. And maybe you will ask that what's the use of this virtual serial device? and the use of this virtual serial device is this is will be useful if you want to develop something like embedded system like arduino or using raspberry pi and when you develop a raspberry pi you will find that sometimes you must read the data from the serial port and it will show in like deep data TTY as zero like this and sometimes you can bring the sensor of the serial device to your home and then you will the developing of the system will be difficult because you don't have the serial device so <coughs> to make it easier you must make a uh, some simulation and then that is the use the use of this virtual serial device and now how to make this virtual serial device the answer is we will use socket yes we will use socket like this socket uh show cut yes and then if you want to see how the explanation of socket you can find that in the manual of socket using command man socket like this and then now how to use this okay so socket in this command is basically create two virtual teletyper i hope i write yes like virtual pipe yeah this is this command here is like to create two virtual pipe uh, one pipe because one pipe have a uh, two endpoint right so here i create a pipe that have a uh, endpoint one and endpoint two now i want to explain about the parameter in this command this is to PTY to create this virtual pipe this link is about the name the file name of the endpoint 1 for this end let's say this is endpoint 1 and we name it endpoint 1 2 and then row here is mean the input and output of from this endpoint is unprocessed and echo equal zero means no local echo in this terminal and then here is same but the link in here is different the name is different this command will create two files let's see as you can see here there are two endpoint endpoint one and endpoint two but if we control c there it will be be gone so how you use it to formulate the virtual device now here i already create a script to send the data to the one of the endpoint here i send the data to the endpoint one this is 
guys the objective of this script is to send all of this data of this dummy data to the serial here I am using endpoint 1 let's make sure that I already do the command ok let's run uh, let's run this and I already send all of this simulation data to the serial device virtual serial device and I send this to the endpoint 1 let's get endpoint 1 you will not find the data because you will not find the data in endpoint 1 because I send it to the endpoint 1 you must if you want to find the data you must get endpoint 2 like this alright and now most of the time you want to develop some script to read from the serial device and the script to read from this virtual serial device is is same like the real virtual device so it will be very simple like this the reason why in the script in this that I want to write the data to the serial device is so complex like this it, this is because I want to construct the data the way that I want and now here is to read it let's see Okay. here I already keep sending the data let's run this script as you can see this the data we can receive the data from endpoint 2 like this using this script simulator that and now maybe you will ask how about I send the data from endpoint 2 let's see let's change this to endpoint 2 and then run and then let's just run this you see this is not receive any data because we are we because we read he the data in the endpoint 2 and we write the data in endpoint 2 too so it can we must change this to endpoint 1 Ah, oh, I forgot to save. Okay. Uh, now it's run smoothly. And this is this is the end. As you can see, if you using socket like this, where well, the command? Yes, if you using so as you can see if you using socket like this this is will work in both of the endpoint both of the endpoint can be in a input and an output but both of them must have a different role so when you using endpoint one as the input endpoint two must be the output or must be the endpoint that you want to read and yeah, when you want to read the data from endpoint 1, you must use endpoint 2 as the input. And yeah, that's basically how to create the serial device. I will include the script 
in the github in my github i will share the link in the description of this video thank you for watching